And while they've seen so much snow, the rest of the country breaking records for heat. More heat, than 15,000 yeah. records broken yeah. uh, last month alone. So pretty Just incredible. out of balance, isn't it? I yeah. know. I know. And here we finally got a little bit of heat, right? <laughs> yes, yeah, Avery. Yesterday was beautiful. 68 degrees for a high. And take a look at the sunrise this morning over the Cascades. We got a little bit of blue skies and sunshine early on. A little hazier now, but watch as it comes up. Just a gorgeous day. Uh, perfect to get out and en enjoy the weather. Maybe you had a morning walk this morning. You can see Mount Hood in all her glory behind the temperature here. A beautiful afternoon out there. 57 degrees with northwest winds, 7 miles per hour. And many of us have cracked 60 already, and it's just 1220. 60 for East Moreland and 61 degrees in Gresham. 55 for Bend, 57 in PDX. But it won't be long before we are in the 60s as well. Out at the airport. 3D pinpoint Doppler showing possibly a sprinkle around battleground right now, but these are so light you probably don't even need your windshield wipers for them if you're seeing the sprinkles. Where I do think we'll see a, a little bit more shower activity is out at the coast today. The reason for that, we've got this area of low pressure that's been parked off in the Pacific for the last three days. It's about 500 miles offshore, but it's bringing quite a bit of moisture to Northern California and high clouds into our skies. As it moves on shore later on this week, I think midweek, We'll have a better chance for showers, but for the most part, it's going to be a pretty dry week around here. We're just dealing with the clouds associated with that system. Here we are Tuesday, 5 o'clock in the evening. The potential for some very light showers to pop up, and then we dry out Tuesday night. Wednesday afternoon, the chance for some more light showers, and then we'll fast forward on through Thursday. And there's a chance of another light shower or two. Uh, but this isn't a major front that'll knock our socks off and, and get us very wet at all. Just a few sprinkles every one now and again. So here's what's ahead. We have a mild start to the week. We'll be in the 60s today and tomorrow. Showers are possible, especially Wednesday and Thursday, as you saw. But then we're looking at a possible repeat performance of this last weekend next weekend. So a lot to look forward to. Today's highs along the coast. In the 60s, in fact, a lot of us are, are warmer than these temperatures right now, so we'll have to bump those up a couple of degrees with sprinkles at times and mostly cloudy skies, but still a very pleasant day. I-5 corridor in the mid to upper 60s, so one of the warmest days of the year for us in the I-5 corridor. Mostly sunny and warm east of the Cascades. Madras, almost 70 degrees today. Filtered sunshine for the Cascades, another spring skiing type of a day. 7,000 feet is where that snow level is. Don't need to worry about that, though, because we won't be seeing any snow. Partly sunny skies through the gorge with 70 for a high in the Dalles. Maybe you're headed to the Blazers game tonight. A beautiful night to walk to the game. Maybe go out for a bite to eat in the Pearl District and then walk across one of our beautiful bridges. 65 degrees around the time the game starts at 7 o'clock tonight versus the Rockies. So tomorrow, 64, mid 60s, with the chance of a spotty sprinkle. A few showers around for Wednesday and Thursday, and then we're drying out for next weekend. Looking for temperatures in the mid 60s again. So pretty nice. That's wonderful. I know. Thanks, I know. Sally. It's been a real treat.